Well, this is a special time of year in the European footballing cycle. It's where it all begins again. The lifting of the trophy, the winners' medals. That was all back in May. A mere reminder, a relic of the glory that was and what may be to come, perhaps, for one of these. This place, simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. So here it is, what we've all been waiting for. Make sure you are strapped in and ready to go. Bring it on, Peter. I'm looking forward to a competition that always delivers entertainment, whether through its football or indeed its supporting cast of, of emotions. Neither of these teams will want a, a trip back to the drawing board after this, so I think we can expect something quite lively. the whistle Jim which player is best equipped for this game yeah Raphael Varane he's solid in the air Peter he's tough in the tackle and a very good reader of the game most of all though if something goes wrong when the opposition break through he's got the pace to get back and, and make a vital intervention yeah I must agree especially in view of his ability to lead and organize the defense Junior. Everton. Out for a throw. Rafael Varan. Kunte. Azar. Hazard, good challenge, he just stood firm. Now it's Costa. He's looked long this time. Dinked in, chance to shoot. Tries a shot! Goal! Real Madrid! Real Madrid are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. So, a breakthrough already. Conte. Takes it over to the other flank. Good ball. He's in space and looking for options. Is it out of harm's way? Benfica seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? No, 
well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. He's had a shot! Diego Costa really was well marshaled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. It's a loose ball. Casemiro. And here's Azar. It's a brilliant interception. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1 0. Pitsy. Pitsy drives it forward. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Valverde looks to dink one in. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. There's a long ball. Modric goes long. Modric needed to come up with a better ball. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Everton. Well, the score's only 1-0, but that doesn't tell the full story. Junior goes looking. Let's put a stop to that. Casemiro. Valverde. Valverde with a long pass. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Hazard wants to play it back. And a shot! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Valverde certainly caught it well enough, but that was never really going to trouble the keeper. <laughs> Carvajal sticks in a foot to win it back. Hartland. That is going to be the final action of the first half. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Real Madrid having to have the lead in a tight old game. Half-time, 1-0. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Real Madrid going well here and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Gets away from his opponents, has a pop! A oh, well played, he's taken that really cleanly. Everton. Pitsy. Everton. For a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Olmo plays it out to the flank. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. strength too strong for his opponent keeps everyone guessing and here's Modric oh what a ball that's just very well played he can't hurt you with his back to goal and he didn't go for the back heel come back to the keeper Casemiro. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early. Going for goal! Fair attempt, just the wrong outcome. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to 
make the keeper work, though. Valverde. And it's Mondi. Real chance! It's in! Two up and threatening to pull clear. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Real Madrid have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. We're looking at a very different game now, the command has been established. Throw it. Oh, that's not going to go down too well with his teammates. Pizzi tries to switch the play. Now it's Costa. Tarat tries to stroke it through. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. And it's played forward. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. And here's Diego Costa. Oh, the ball's coming. Nunez! They've got it back, in he goes again! He scored! What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. Benfica are making a change now. Benfica get themselves back into contention. I think they've done so well to get back in it, but it's important now that they don't become over-eager in chasing another. They only need one more chance. Patience is key. And here's Azar. Mondi. Nicely controlled. Plays it back. Shapes to shoot! I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. <laughs> and that'll go straight through to the keeper. And the referee brings it to a close. Pretty much the ideal start. A win on the first day and a platform on which to build. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Listen, ideally, any new campaign...